Aloha everybody, this is Dave Wallace coming to you from Waiowa, Hawaii, and it's Sunday, so it's story time, okay? Talk story time with me. Today I'd like to share with you an incident that occurred early on during my development as a kahu, and eventually being a kahu. And this occurred back in the 1990s, okay? In 1990, I began, 1991, I began teaching at uh, Kailo Intermediate, and I was assigned to teach Hawaiian monarchy. And as I started reading the history of Hawaii and started seeing names appear, and I started doing background research into the people that I was to teach about, I began learning that you know, these people that I was going to teach about and talk about in my classes, they were all relatives of mine. So I wanted to find out who they were and get some background history. And um, books could only take me so far. And uh, sometimes in probably 1991, 1990, 1991, I went up to, uh, on my way home from Kailua to town, uh, I stopped off at the Pali Lookout and I walked and I found a secluded place up at the Pali and decided to pray and ask my ancestors to show me how I can be like them. And, you know, in a, in a series of dreams, I was uh, shown different things. But uh, as I began to progress and st started to study um, like many of you who went on this journey, uh, sometimes you run into a roadblock where you can't progress or something seems to be blocking you or keeping you from uh, doing what you're supposed to do. And so after going gung-ho for a short time and I ran out of materials to read and I, I began to uh, lose this um, momentum that I had began with, and um, I went into a lull, basically. And uh, it wasn't a depression, but it was more like, okay, well, is this it? Is this all I got you know, to do? And so in 1992, I made a trip to the island of Molokai and uh, to visit my folks and visit my son that was there at the time. And so in 1992, I flew into Moloka. I, I had told my dad I was coming, so I was expecting him to come and pick me up at the airport. And he said he would do that. And so when I arrived, <laughs> he wasn't there at the airport. And so I gathered my, I gathered my bags and I went inside the terminal I called, I tried calling my dad, and it looked like he was down at the farm, and he may have forgotten about it. So I'm with my bags, waiting, waiting, and I decided to sit where the other passengers were. And I walked up to the bench, and there's two sides to the bench uh, facing opposite directions. And there's room enough on this one bench where I was sitting uh, and right behind me was a couple, holly couple, and uh, this man was, uh, he looked more Middle Eastern, and he had dark hair and, and wore a dark uh, beard, and so I had a feeling he, was, he may have been either uh, Jewish or Islamic in faith. So he was sitting there with his wife, and they were talking, and... Um, I tried not to pay attention, but uh, as I was sitting almost back to back to these people, uh, and I heard this man said that uh, he was very disappointed. And I go, as soon as I heard the word disappointed with Molokai, I go, oh, brah, you came to Molokai and what you expect? <laughs> you know, um, what, what disappointed you about the island? And then he continued talking to his wife and he's saying, you know what, I'm supposed to meet someone here on the island. And they were there for a week. And apparently he didn't get to meet the person that he was sent there to um, 
to me. So me, me, Ele, <laughs> I walk around the other side and, and um, you know, interrupted the couple that they were speaking. I go, excuse me, sir. Um, you said you were sent here to meet with someone? He says, yeah, I was sent here to meet someone. Very important. And I says, well, you know, I, I was born and raised here on Molokai, so if you tell me who this person is, maybe I can take you. Or if I don't know, my dad's a fire, uh, retired fireman. He knows everybody on the island. So if you have a name, tell me and we can, uh, we can take you. And he says, well, you know, I was here for a entire week. And this person I was supposed to meet was supposed to be a powerful kahuna. And I looked at him, I says, jeez, I'm not too sure if we have any practicing kahunas here on Molokai. And he looked at me and gave me a kind of strange look and he kind of looked me up and down and he asked me, excuse me, sir, uh, what's your birth date? I says, uh, June 18, all right. And he looks at me, and his face just lit up. And uh, he says, 18 is a very auspicious number in my faith. It's a very important number. And he looks at me, and he says, um, are you a kahuna? And I looked at him, I said, no, 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 no. In order to be a kahuna, you have to be trained as a kahuna. However... I do have ancestors that were kahuna. And why do you ask? And the man went on to explain that he was a kohen. Now, if you're familiar with the Jewish faith, a kohen is a direct descendant from Aaron, the brother of Moses. And these are uh, the people that offer sacrifice uh, in the temple. They're the only ones that can do that. They're the Levites, okay? So as a Kohen, he has certain gifts, and one of the gifts that he uh, he has is communicating with God directly. And so he told me when he was from New York, and while he was in New York, he was praying and asking for more guidance, and he was told to go to the island of Molokai because there he needs to meet an important kahuna. And I look at him and I says, again, if you know this person's name, we can take you. And he sat there and smiled. He says, I'm meeting him right now. And I looked at him and I says, I saw it kind of like tearing up because of where I was in my journey. I was stuck. I needed some kind of push and nudge in the right direction. And this man, this stranger, offered that to me. So we hugged each other and he started asking me questions like what I did for a living and I says, I'm a teacher. And he was very happy that I was doing that. And so he asked me, why did I go into teaching? I said, I want to help people. And he, so he told me that if I continue on the journey that I uh, currently am, and there's much more things I need to learn, but as far as having uh, God's blessings and the right to do these things, just follow my conscious, uh, conscious and uh, my ancestors are very strong and they're around me all the time. They'll give me direction when I need. So this man, <laughs> uh, as a living, for a living, he told me that he prays for people. Uh, he spends only so many minutes a day uh, praying for uh, individuals who pay him <laughs> for healings, for uh, you know clearing pathways. And he asked me if um, I, he could do the same for me. And I gave him permission. I says, whatever you need to do, uh, please include me in your prayers. And so from this 
chance meeting uh, was not by chance. Uh, he was sent there to remind me of my potential, and my goals, what I needed to accomplish uh, was important. And I needed to hear that from someone else uh, that <laughs> not talking in my head. <laughs> this was a live person that I never know, never knew. And uh, so hearing it from a Kohen. And when I came home, I did <laughs> research on what a Kohen is, and it, it was amazing. So this man, on the last day of his trip, thinking he was uh, never to meet someone that he was sent there to me, uh, to meet, meets me at the airport on his way leaving the island. So he left Molokai feeling very happy, like his mission was completed. And for me, as uh, as I look back to that meeting. For me, it's a very important road sign in my journey to where I'm at today. And, you know, we'll all meet people like that. Your Kohen, a uh, Kohen, a, a Kahu, a friend from the past, or even a mis minister, or someone that says the right thing at the right moment for you. And it's a message given to them by God and your ancestors to give you that nudge, okay? So this is my my experience. And the next time I'm going to be, next week, I'm going to be sharing with you another uh, such road sign when I got to meet with a uh, psychic uh, medium from the island of Maui and the directions that he gave me in this journey that I'm currently on. Okay? So look forward to seeing you folks next week. And uh, this is Dave Wallace saying aloha. Until next time. Aloha. <laughs>